All right, cap back here. We're gonna go middle. Oh, and if he's looking for my foot, because he knows this trick, he might even put his foot on mine, which is awesome. And then I can kind of kick under with my other foot. If you need to physically put their feet on yours, that's fine. My feet are straight and rigid, my knees are locked. And I might even just start like practicing moving my feet and rocking to get them used to it. Uh-oh, foot back up, sit. And this is one we've been working on for probably about a year. Um, so he's still working on the confidence on my feet, but like even just rocking him like this, it took us a while to get to where I could just stand in place before he would back up like that. So that's a common thing that will happen. Sit. There we go. But if I have to physically put his feet on my feet, I can do that. Sit. <laughs> he's like, can I just like give you high five and call it good? Legs are locked. He's up. If I squeeze too much with my knees, he's going to back up or get uncomfortable. So, come around. You need a minute? Okay, I'm going to give you a minute. Go find. Oh, what happened? Did you get stabbed or something? Oh, buddy. There you go. But again, frequent breaks. Go find. When you're working on these new skills, we can take frequent breaks. And then go back. Sit. There, now we looked for my foot. That's what I wanted. Boop, boop. Ready? Up. Knees locked. Hips. I'm walking for my hips. My feet are still. Good job, buddy. Well done. 